All right. So we're going to look at one way to create breakout rooms in Google Classroom using Google Meet. All right. So I started by creating a topic called breakout rooms, and I create and I posted three materials so far, each of them a breakout room. So for example, here's breakout room one has been assigned to three students. Uh, I assigned it to these three students and only those three students see the link to breakout room one in their version of Google Classroom. I can go and change that every now and then, but this way I know that if I tell my students, go into your breakout room, they already they have no choice. They have to go to that one, right? Um, here's how. So uh, I'm going to start in my calendar, and I'm going to create a event at a really odd time, so it doesn't really interfere with what I'm doing. So I'm going to double click at uh, 9:30 p.m. on, I believe it's a Wednesday. So I'm going to call this breakout room four. I'm going to make sure I click the add Google Meet video conferencing button. All right. And that's it. I'm going to click save. Now I have this Google Meet that's been generated or this Google Meet link that's been generated. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to copy it by clicking the copy button there. And I'm going to go into my Google Classroom. I'm going to create a material. Okay. Uh, and it's a material because I don't want a due date for this, right? So breakout room four. I don't give it a description or anything. I just click add and link and i have that link copied so i'm just going to paste it in there click add link and there it is now a couple of things i want to do i can click here and assign it to all of my classes or several of my classes then i can just reuse the same four links for my breakout rooms in all my classes um you know it's just a little convenient there or i can click on all students now and select the students that are going to be in that uh, in that breakout room. So I'm going to select these three. Okay. And I'm going to put it in my uh, breakout rooms topic. Okay. So I'm going to double check that everything I need is there and it looks like it is. So I'm going to click post and there it is. There's my fourth breakout room. Now um, I could Let's say I wanted my students to get into their own breakout rooms, like choose their groups. Um, then I would change the students that are in there so that it's visible to all my students, not just the three that I selected. But uh, uh, since it's the beginning of the year, I'm going to assign them a group, right? So I'm saving that. And what the students will see is only the breakout room that they have been assigned to. All right. So hope you find that helpful. So as you know, there are lots of ways to create Google Meets. The reason I created one through the calendar is that it's open. So I don't have to be in there to let students in. Uh, I can start class off in the automatically created uh, Google Meet link that's in my Google uh, Classroom, do my instruction, and then have students break off into small groups to work on whatever it is that they're going to be working on and ask them to go into their assigned groups, right? Leave this Meet, go to your assigned Meet. Then I can pop into each one, uh, you know, randomly to help out uh, you know if they have any questions or need a little motivation from uh, from their good old English teacher right so hope that was helpful thanks for watching